morning. This is your HCC health update as of March 20, 2020. Let's start with a very brief, what is this? You might have heard or read this virus called SARS-CoV-2, or Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2. That's the name of the virus. If you are infected with the virus, then you have COVID-19, or Coronavirus Disease 2019. For the purpose of these updates, we'll simplify and just say COVID-19. The virus that causes COVID-19 is a novel or a new virus, a new coronavirus. What makes that important is that because this is a new virus, when it hit us, no one on Earth had any immunity to this virus. That is why it spreads so easily and so rapidly. It is not related to the four coronaviruses that cause colds, which are all human origin coronaviruses. This virus is of animal origin, which makes it very different than the cold coronaviruses. So it is a mistake to compare this to a cold, even though 80% of people infected with this virus will have mild symptoms that seem like a cold. It is also incorrect to minimize the risk by saying that more people die of the flu than this virus. We have many years of data on influenza. We can give you numbers for how many people died in the United States of influenza last year. We only have a few months worth of data for the coronavirus, and we have no idea how this virus will ultimately behave as we are too soon into the process. Symptoms of COVID-19 often include fever over 100.4, difficulty breathing, and cough, or cough, any one of those symptoms. As of the time of this update, there are approximately 15,219 cases in the United States, with every state reporting cases and just over 200 deaths. As of today's data, there are 26 new cases since yesterday, bringing the total in the state of Oregon to 114 positive COVID-19 cases with three deaths. Of those 114 current reported cases, 19 are in Lynn County. None of the deaths occurred in Lynn County. Our expert opinion in the organization where I work is that Oregon is in a temporary lull related to waiting for the ultimate results of 433 pending tests that should come rolling in in the next seven to 10 days. Those are the stats for the day. Now for practical application. If you are symptom free, it is not recommended that you wear a mask. This virus is transmitted by what is called a large droplet. So we've all seen the pictures of an individual coughing without covering their cough and that large spray of droplets that goes out up to six feet. That is why we are recommending six foot separation from person to person. Also, masks are for those who are sick to trap those large droplets and prevent them from flying out to people around them and from dropping onto the surfaces around them. If you do not have coronavirus, there is no evidence that wearing a mask will protect you as, again, this has not been determined to be an airborne infection. Those masks are desperately needed by healthcare workers right now who are on the front line with high exposures and significantly higher risk. So to protect yourself, what we do know that is effective is frequent and adequate hand washing, use of appropriate hand sanitizers if you cannot wash your hands, and frequent cleansing of surfaces. Remember, large droplet transmission. The virus can live from several hours to days, depending on the environment and the type of surface that it lands on. So cleaning surfaces with diluted household bleach solutions, alcohol solutions with at least 70% alcohol, and the most common EPA registered household disinfectants. For example, the use of Lysol spray on doorknobs and toilet tank handles. As of today's update, <clears throat> that is today's update, pardon me, <clears throat> But I want to leave you with this, 2 Timothy 1.7, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. So take care of yourself, take care of your family, find out if there's someone near you who needs help that you can render. If you are delivering supplies to people, I suggest a front porch drop method. Drop the supplies, say hello from six feet away, offer to pray for those individuals, and leave without entering the household. Thank you.